Good evening, I'm Janella Massa in Oakville, where just a few minutes ago, council voted unanimously to designate the famous Glen Abbey Golf Course a heritage site. Now, this could stall a proposal to redevelop the area for a residential business and park space. Now, it was a packed council inside uh, council chambers this evening. Over 100 residents came out to speak out in support of the heritage designation, so they're calling this vote a win tonight and we also heard from the mayor. I think I could summarize what I heard as people saying that uh, Glen Abbey is Oakville and Oakville is Glen Abbey. Heritage is our past and uh, heritage is our future and, and I know that this town has taken a strong leadership role in the conservation of its heritage resources and I'm proud of that. remains now what this will mean for the future of the site. The 2,000 acre course has played host to the Canadian Open 29 times and set to host it again this year. But Clublink Corp, which uh, owns the site, has, for, has put forward a proposal to the town of Oakville for development that would include a three would include 3,000 homes along with office buildings and parkland. A Clublink spokesperson today spoke with us this evening saying it feels like the company is losing control of its own land. The first thing is that the town uh, has the right to do this if they want, um, but they're governing a business. They're, we're, we're a golf business running on that property. It felt to me like uh, this, the, the way these rules have been written is that we have a new property manager on the property. They basically have to ask for everything. Now, the decision can be appealed, and uh, the mayor made it clear that the heritage designation is a separate issue from the redevelopment proposal, though it could influence that decision. Uh, that matter will be heard before council next month, September 26th, live outside uh, Oakville Town Hall. I'm Janelle Massa.